Okay, so this is your social studies video for the day. We're a little behind on social studies um, because I was getting some remote things together yesterday. So we're going to go two days in one, um, Monday and Tuesday. So on your social studies Google Classroom, if you're in person, this is Google Classroom. You have chapter nine questions and you click on it. Of course, yours looks a little bit different because mine's the teacher side but um, you should open this in Kami, chapter nine questions, or you can edit it in Google Docs, um, whatever pops up, and complete the questions. Today, the questions are number one, two, and three. So I'm gonna read these to you. We're reading page 328 to 333. Um, this Land is Your Land by Woody Guthrie, illustrated by Kathy Jacksobin, maybe. An American singer and songwriter named Woody Guthrie often wrote about the natural beauty of the United States. Guthrie lived in California in the 1930s. He wrote about his experiences in California in some of his songs. This Land is Your Land is his most favorite, or his most famous song. I don't know if it's a favorite. All right, and these are the lyrics to This Land is Your Land. We don't have to read those. Okay. And that will help you answer number one. You may have to look in those lyrics for some of the answers, um, but that will help you with number one. All right, page 332 to 333 is really what we should have been doing on Tuesday. So national and local symbols. Make sure you go back and do these questions on Google Docs or on Kami. If you're remote, you have this on paper. You may choose how you, um, how you do this. National and local symbols. There are many kinds of flags. States and cities have flags. So do some businesses and sports team. Each country also has a flag. A country's flag is a patriotic symbol that stands for ideas the people believe in, such as freedom. The feeling of pride in one's country is called patriotism. Our country's flag. The design on the United States flag has changed over time. On early flags, the numbers of both the stars and the stripes showed the number of states in the nation. The nation of the United States of America grew and soon there were too many states to show as stripes. Congress decided that only a star should be added to the flag when a new state joined the nation. The number of stripes stayed at 13 to stand for the first 13 states. Congress did not say how the stars should be grouped, so flags had different designs. In 1912, the president said that stars must always be grouped in straight rows. The last change to the nation's flag was made in 1960. In that year, the 15th star was added to stand for the state of Hawaii. Not the 15th, the 50th, obviously. All right, let's take a look at these questions. All right, who wrote This Land is Your Land? A country's flag is a blank. It stands for the ideas that people believe in. And true or false, the design of the United States flag has changed over time. And if you don't know, you need to re-listen, and then you can answer the questions. Let me know if you need anything.